welcome to another video let's solve this problem so the x here is a member of an integer so that is the value we are going to get so must be an integer value and uh, looking at this problem so if let's say i want to test for when x equals to zero as a zero is a member of integers from the given conditions so here we have 8 raised to power 0 minus 2 raised to power 0 divided by 6 raised to power 0 minus 3 raised to power 0 everything equals to 2. Now we know that 8 raised to power 0 is 1 and this is minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 equals to 2. So 1 minus 1 is given as 0 divided by 0 and this is not equals to 2. So which means that so the solution for this uh, which is an integer so anything you are going to get must not equal to zero. So let's see how we can do this. So from this problem, if I rewrite this eight as two to the power of three, always to power x minus two to the power of x divided by so the splitting of six into two dot three raised to power of x minus three raised to power x, everything equals to two. And if I recall from the rule of indices as a raised to power x raised to power of y, so this is the same thing as a raised to power of y raised to power of x. And also, if you have a dot b raised to power of x, so this is the same thing as a raised to power x dot b raised to power of x. So by applying this rule in this problem, we are going to have this becomes 2 to the power of x all raised to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x dot 3 power x minus 3 power x everything equals to 2 and from the above uh, something is common in the above which is 2 to the power of x so if i factorize out 2 is the power of x so the first one being 2 is the power x in 3 times so it reduces to 2 is the power 2 x minus so this is one all divided by 3 to the power of x is common at the denominator so by taking it out we have bracket 2 to the power of x minus 1 and everything equals to 2 so at this problem what i want to do is i want to make sure that 2 to the power x minus 1 cancel above and what to do is so i try to apply the same rule of the indices as I did above, so this is 2 raised to power x raised to power 2, and this one is 1 raised to power 2. So, and then what I'm trying to do, I mean, my primary aim is to have a difference of a 2 square and uh, for the denominator to cancel. And we know uh, the above as uh, resemble difference of a 2 square, and uh, which that one can be written as if this is 2 raised to power x at uh, the one at the outside, so why the inside becomes 2 raised to power x minus 1 bracket and this is 2 raised to the power of x plus 2 so that's my primary aim of doing that so why we still have this is 3 raised to the power x bracket 2 to the power of x minus 1 bracket everything equals to 2 so looking at this we can make sure that 2 raised to the power of x minus 1 cancel from the above and below and hereby we have 3 raised to, uh, 2 raised to the power x bracket 2 raised to the power of x plus 1 so which is left then divided by 3 raised to the power of uh, x, everything equals to 2. So if I try to cross multiply, I mean if I take 3 raised to the power of x multiplying 2, so we are going to up this as 2 raised to the power of x bracket 2 raised to the power x plus 1. This equals to 2 raised to the power, uh, 2 dot 3 raised to the power of x. And from here, uh, what I want to do is, I want to make sure that I have just only 3 raised to the power of x at the right hand side. So just to make sure that only uh, where we have 2 remains at the left hand side. So by dividing both sides by 2 here, we are going to have this uh, 1 which is 2 raised to the power of x divided by 2. So by applying the rule of indices, so this becomes 2 raised to the power of x minus 1 bracket 2 raised to the power of x uh, plus 1 everything equals to 3 raised to the power of x and at this stage so what i'm going to do here is very simple 
So since I've tested for when x equals to zero, which is not correct. So here I'm still going to test for, suppose I assume that my x is greater than or equals to two, okay? So if x is greater than or equals to two, so which means the value of x can be two, the value of x can be three and above. So if I try to check for when x equals to two, so what I'm going to have at the uh, right hand side here and the left hand side. So this will keep becoming odd number for any value of this the plugin. And for this two is the power of x minus one only. So this will always be even. So while for this one will always be odd. So and if you try to multiply even number and uh, odd number together here, so we always have even number. So which means for x greater than or equals to two. So by trying to keep iterating this value, so as in by trying to substitute this value, the left hand side will not equal to the right hand side. Because at the left hand side we have even number always and the right hand side we have odd number always. So which means x greater than or equals to two can never be the problem, uh, the solution rather. So okay, so if I try to check for when x equals to one in the same um, problem, I mean uh, the last one which is two is by x minus one, but two is by x plus one equals to two is to power x. So we are going to have this as two is to power of x minus one, bracket two is to power x plus one equals to three is to power of x. So at x equals to one in this problem, if you try to plug in one in two is to power x minus one, so we are going to have one, which is odd. And if you try to plug in one in the bracket, we're still going to have odd number here. So while for the right hand side, we're still going to have odd number. So as it is, so we have this as odd. This is also odd. And the right hand side is also odd number. So I know if you try to multiply odd by odd, so we're going to get odd. And why is still odd number? So which means that odd equals to odd as s equals to one. So which means s equals to one satisfy this problem. All right. So and let's see check again if x less than zero. So if x less than zero, that is x equals to minus n. Okay. So and where this n is always greater than zero, that is uh, the n will always take positive number. So as we have defined above that x less than zero. So if I try to replace x with minus n, then we have two to the power minus n minus one bracket two to the power of minus n plus one equals to three to the power of n. And by applying some basic rules of indices, we have this as 1 divided by 2 to the power n plus 1 bracket. So this is 1 divided by 2 to the power n, so plus 1. Everything equals to 1 divided by 3 to the power n. So the reason I'm checking this is just to generalize everything. Okay. So here we have um, 1 divided by 2 to the power of n plus 1 bracket. So why this becomes 1 plus 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of n bracket equals to 1 divided by 2 to the power n so here if i try to multiply above as in 1 multiplied by 1 plus 2 to the power of n we are going to have 1 plus 2 to the power of n divided by and uh, if you try to multiply the denominator together so we have common base we are going to take 2 and we add the power together which is 2n plus 1 everything equals to 1 divided by 3 to the power of n and if I cross multiply, so we are going to have 3 raised to the power n bracket 1 plus 2 raised to the power of n. So everything equals to 2 raised to the power of n uh, to n plus 1. So uh, this formula I just got now, or let's say this expression. So if we try to keep plugging in the value of x when less than 0, or uh, let me just say I try to plug in the value of when n equals to 1 to check first if uh, these, two, uh, these two sides are going to be equal. Definitely, they are going to be equal at x equals to uh, at n equals to one. All right, so which means that all this will be odd. So the inner one will always be odd. So why the uh, the right hand side will always be odd. So which means one will only be the value that satisfy this problem, while other value do not satisfy it. And this is how to solve this problem. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Never stop learning. Bye bye.